Paul Sabin, The Bet, Paul Ehrlich, Julian Simon, and our gamble over Earth's future. Dive into the gripping story of two brilliant experts, Paul Ehrlich and Julian Simon, who clashed in a fierce public debate over Earth's future in the 1970s. In his best-selling book, The Population Bomb, Ehrlich warned that overpopulation would lead to widespread famine and disaster. In contrast, economist Simon argued that market forces and technological innovation would come to the rescue. This summary of the bet by Paul Sabin provides a captivating overview of how their opposing views have shaped the environmental movement, politics, and public discourse, even until today. Explore the intriguing personal backgrounds of these men, and uncover how their heated bet regarding commodity prices became a powerful symbol in the ongoing struggle between environmentalism and free market thinking. The Clashing Views on Overpopulation In the 1960s, Stanford professor Paul Ehrlich's best-selling book The Population Bomb warned of mass starvation due to overpopulation, inspiring the environmental movement. Economist Julian Simon disagreed, arguing that humans' ability to innovate and adapt would solve problems posed by population growth. The two experts represented opposing views that defined the 1970s debate on humanity's future. Their differing perspectives played out in politics and still influence public debate today. Paul Ehrlich, A Biologist's Journey Paul Ehrlich, an American biologist, was influenced by Fairfield Osborne and William Voigt's books during his college years which sparked his awareness about overpopulation and limited resources. Ehrlich linked his study of other species with humanity's relationship to the environment. He taught at Stanford University for 50 years and wrote extensively in population biology. Ehrlich believed that the world was overpopulated, and without change, humanity was doomed. His views gained wide exposure and met with agreement, but an alternative, contrarian perspective also emerged. The Bet That Changed Perspectives Julian Simon's views on population control took a dramatic shift as he delved deeper into the issue. He came to realize that Earth's resources were not limited, and humanity's demand for them could be addressed through the market economy. As opposed to Paul Ehrlich and his supporters who feared overpopulation leading to famine, Julian Simon showed that population growth was beneficial for society and the economy. Simon's journey towards challenging Ehrlich's beliefs began while he was studying advertising at the University of Illinois Urbana and continued until his famous bet with Ehrlich. Despite suffering from depression, Simon's dedication to research and rational argument made him challenge conventional wisdom and seek answers through data analysis. The bet itself was an expression of Simon's inquisitive nature that stemmed from his childhood experiences with his father's dogmatism. Simon's personality had many similarities with Ehrlich, however, his approach to the issue of population growth was more optimistic. Eventually, Ehrlich lost the bet, and Simon's research gained credibility. Julian Simon's story shows how one person's willingness to challenge widely accepted beliefs can change the perspective of society. Limits to Growth In 1972, the Club of Rome published The Limits to Growth, a groundbreaking study that used computer modeling to predict a disastrous future due to human population growth and extreme resource consumption. This theory was driven by fear that humanity would overshoot its boundaries and was further fueled in 1973 by OPEC's oil production cut that severely impacted the American economy. Some experts believe that environmental laws govern human populations, like other species. The study's goal was to challenge fears about population growth and address the environmental crisis before it was too late. Environmentalism in Politics the book explores the rise of environmentalism in politics in the 1970s, focusing on the response to ecological threats from politicians of both major parties. It examines the skepticism of scientists, including Paul Ehrlich and their concerns about the lack of transparency from governments and businesses, and how Jimmy Carter's presidential campaign was a catalyst in highlighting population growth and environmental issues. The book also looks at Carter's policy initiatives to conserve energy and create a comprehensive national energy policy. Ehrlich vs. Simon 
In 1977, Bullock and Simon published Ecoscience, a book that predicted the future of the environment and called for specific responses to environmental threats. Ehrlich faced opposition for his call for population and immigration control, and to defend himself against accusations of racism, he co-wrote The Race Bomb. In 1980, Simon challenged Ehrlich to a contest that tested their competing visions of the future. Simon defended his belief that innovative rationality could solve problems. Ehrlich believed in an apocalyptic future and the need for population control, but Simon challenged this, attacking the idea that natural resources are finite and people are approaching ecological limits. Two Visions, Optimism versus Environmental Pessimism In the 1980 U.S. presidential election, two conflicting visions for the country's future were presented. President Jimmy Carter advocated for government intervention to tackle environmental problems, while Ronald Reagan supported a free market approach based on optimism. Paul Ehrlich and his fellow environmentalists expressed their concerns about resource scarcity, prompting a challenge from economist Julian Simon to bet on the prices of five commodities over the next decade. Simon's belief in the power of technology and the market to solve these issues ultimately prevailed. Unfortunately, environmentalism became associated with the Democratic Party in anti-growth sentiment, contributing to Reagan's victory. Simon gained popularity in Washington, D.C. for his book, The Ultimate Resource, which claimed people were the ultimate resource. Instead of adopting Ehrlich's environmental pessimism, Simon's optimistic approach prevailed in the political and economic landscapes of the time. The Bet That Divided a Nation In the 1990s, a bet between Paul Ehrlich and Julian Simon became a symbolic weapon for those who opposed regulation or supported free market solutions. While Simon won the bet, many conservative critics ignored its specifics and only cared about victory. The simplicity of the bet and how people interpreted it marked the intense political divisions over environmental issues in the 1990s. The clashing insights of Ehrlich and Simon are necessary to help frame our thinking about the future, as their bet showcases the increasing ideological divide in U.S. politics. The Clash of Ideologies the partisan divide between Republicans and Democrats has deepened, leading to extreme voices dominating American politics. Such division is evident in the opposing perspectives of Ehrlich and Simon on environmentalism and economic growth. Ehrlich's predictions on the environment were dire and lacked consideration of market activity and scarcity. On the other hand, Simon demonstrated the reactive power of markets and emphasized the regulations called for by Ehrlich would stifle economic growth. Unfortunately, the debate did not result in mutual learning and understanding. Both men ignored each other's contributions, leading to a polarization of their beliefs. Ehrlich's claims did not come true, as the overall human lifespan is increasing. Simon and other critics gave too much weight to specifics of Ehrlich's predictions, leading to a lack of understanding of how scarcity develops. The clash of ideologies highlights the need for less extreme polarized approaches to policymaking. As you conclude reading the bet, reflect on the enduring impact of Paul Ehrlich and Julian Simon's polarizing views on Earth's future. Although their bet oversimplified the complex environmental issues at play, the two adversaries both contributed valuable insights to the global conversation. Ehrlich's warnings heightened awareness of humanity's interdependence with the planet, prompting governments to address environmental risks. Meanwhile, Simon's optimism emphasized the potential of markets and innovation to solve problems of resource scarcity. However, the stark division between their perspectives also contributed to the deepening partisan divide over environmental matters, preventing a more collaborative approach to addressing challenges. The bet urges us to appreciate the contributions of both sides, and work towards a more nuanced understanding of the future we hold in balance.